hi guys so welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another video and in our last video we learned how to connect to uh, mongodb database using mongoose and so in today's video we are going to be learning how to save data to the mongodb database and if you can remember uh, in our last video i make use of mongodb compass right here and this mongodb compass is uh, just like uh, my SQL workbench as I said in my last video but today I'm going to be showing you a simple way to uh, get file from your database without using the mongodb compass so if you are having problem installing mongodb compass or mongodb on your system I think this will solve your problem so right here you can see here now I have an extension uh, with database and no SQL so uh, there is an extension on um, vs code extension right here so let me show it to you and this extension is called my sql right here so my sql not not this one so this my sql extension by c way john uh is a probably a good extension and this extension has very good support for many databases and right here you can see uh, uh, right here it have a support for my sql database mariadb microsoft sql server and postgres also my sql light and mongodb so and in this video you're going to be making use of the mongodb database right here so uh, so let me close this part and get back to it so right here when you install it this uh symbols will be shown on your uh, vs code uh, extension tab so right here i'm having database and this place for no sql so uh, right here we'll be having so if you're having a sql database on your system like maybe postgres or emma sql this is where it's been shown and right here this is for no sql that and that is mongodb so right here let me close the database right here let me close it and remove the database right here so let me delete the connection so yes and go back right here so right here you are going to select at the top right here so right here so let's wait for it to load <laughs> okay so right here now if you are using a local mongodb database you don't need to input any string right here so right here just click on right here so just click on connect and you get a successful connection so it will be shown right here and every single database on your mongodb will be shown right here so right here you can see now let me click on one of my database right there and wait for it to load so query right here and you can see right here you can see all my database is shown right up here so that is easy for you to get all your database and in this app you can make queries right here so so right here you can see uh, a little uh, symbol like a file open a query so when you click on it it will open a new tab for you to uh, type in your queries so these queries as assuming i type a query to get all the uh, all the file in my event app database just click on run sql and right here all the file will be shown so you can see here now said no event app i mean no collection uh, collection names cannot be empty so right here my connection so this is one of my collections so inside the event app we have one collection that is the event so right here you type in the events so we run again and you can see here now i get one of the the uh, i get the file inside the database so that is how to make use of the database and let me close this don't save so right here let me close the connection or oh, cancel so let's go back right here and start with the our main tutorial so right here oh uh, so to save data to the database, I'll be typing app.get, I mean app.post. So 
you are going to be using the post so up the post so inside this here we'll be having our route so let's say new user so we'll be typing in a new user and write say request and response so so right here so assuming i'm making use of mongodb client i don't have to create any model uh, schema for uh to save data into the database but i'm making use of mongoose so uh, mongoose make it easy to interact with mongodb database so right here and let me go back to the main file so right here i'll create a folder called models model so right here inside the uh, model i'll create a file called user so user.js and here i'm going to import and in our last video i installed mongoose so right here i'll be importing mongoose so mongoose so if I to so right here will be requiring mongoose so require require mongoose so right here i'm going to require mongoose so right here i'm going to create a schema so so this schema is the structure of how your file will be saved in your database but if you are making use of uh mongodb client directly you don't have to make a structure you can save any data on your database so right here so sorry not username it's user schema so you can give it any name you like so user schema that is mongoose dot schema so mongo dot schema so right here i'll be getting username uh, so making use of username and the username will be type of string so string and so that is for string string and right here i'll be having for password so the type is also string so let me add one uh for the so one will be integer so so let me add h So it will be a number, so string and number. So right here. So let's export the uh, the schema. So module module dot export equal to mongoose dot model. So the name of the collection will be right here so inside the connection i'll be saving it as a user and right here make sure it's in a single form so user and after that you have to add the user schema so user schema so that is all for the setting up of the mongodb schema so let's close right here and at the top right here let's import the schema so right and const user that is require uh, slash so we are looking for the file inside the model right here slash so user and that is so we have already import the user right here so in this user we are going to be saving file so const so let's destructure it so we have already add uh, app dot use express dot json and app dot use express dot ur encoded because this is without having this in our uh, file we will not be able to use the input device uh, in our browser
so right here so i want to destructure it and import the username username password and age so this will be coming from the request that body so right there now so let's have a try and cache block so try and cache block so in this try and uh, cache block we'll be having a so let's say we want to save the file and right here maybe const let's say user details uh, or data user data and okay that will be uh, that will be username username password and we got the board and age so if you know you don't want to add it like this i think it will be easier just to add it directly using the uh, request the body so the request the body will be grabbing all these data and that is just so in order to save the data into the database you have to be you have to make use of asynchronous so async so right here you just type in await user dot create so to save your data you just have type in create await user dot create so put in the request the body request the body or you can type in right here the data you want to input so you, you may not want to input all the data username password and age so you can type it also like that so a way to use that dot create so right here you can type in const maybe you want to grab the response so const response so response right there sorry so response right here so to send the response and just type in res.json res.json and that will be response so we are going to be getting the response so here you can uh, send the status code right here dot status status of right here status of 200 i mean 201 and that is for create and for the last part error so if we are having an error in our saving of the data to the database we will be able to catch the error right there so right there we will be happy console.log error so right here okay so let's save it so i think that is okay right now so let's save it and right here we'll be making use of thunder clients so new request and close the so right here if you are have uh, watched my my uh, my mysql tutorial i mean video you know that i make use of uh thunder client instead of uh, maybe postman so right here and let's go back before we make use of so right here we haven't start our server so npm run dev so npm run dev so let's wait for our server to start right here so before that let's type in our localhost url so localhost 5000 first slash so let's get the name of the route so it is forward slash new user so new user and right here we are making use of the post request so right here we change it to post 
and inside the body right here you need the username password and age so right here so let's come right here so the body so use form encoded and type in username username so let's uh, type in the username maybe syntactic and password so let's type in password for let's uh, so let's type in tutorial as password and the age let's type in 2021 20, so that is it so let's send this this uh request so and let's see what we get okay sorry we are not in a secure connection so we won't be so right here you can see night here now we are having the response and you can see status 201 that means a new data has been created and for that this serve as an input so let's say you want to send in a json file right here so let's go back and type in a new json file so right here we'll be having the username right here so the new username will be syntactic syntactic dev so and okay right here will be password so password will be maybe jando and age age will be maybe 2021 so let's send it and see our request so you can see here now that both the two is saved correctly and that is due to the uh app that you use uh express.json so this is for the json when you are sending the json file and this is when you are making use of the direct input from the input or uh, maybe form you are creating a form uh in the browser so you want to send a request using the form so this is what allows you to be able to communicate with the database so for that let's check in our database maybe the file is saved correctly so come back here so right here let's reload our database and in our database uh in my last video i told you that if the database is not uh, does not exist before the mongodb will automatically create this database for you so let's reload our database and see maybe the database appears so like right here let's press connect as you can see so let's go back and check the name maybe it's correct so as you can see express connect is the name of our database and right here we are having the name of the database so let's check so and let's grab maybe the user exists right there so let's wait for the query and as you can see here now so this is the username this is the password and so you can see here now that our data is successfully saved so let's now uh, try the third one maybe so after we reload our database maybe we can see that the database is correctly data is correctly saved the database so let's reload again and finally let's go back right here no so let's send in a new request and change this one to jane do jane do so let's change the password to jane Again. so let's send in a new request so this data is saved again and let's go back i mean sorry so let's go back and refresh uh, sorry not refresh so let's refresh from this place again and you can uh, right here you can see now that the data is saved correctly and that is gentle so that is how to save data into your database if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button also subscribe to my channel for more videos see you in my next video